walked in, went through security, waited in this really long line, and then they separated us into like two really big courtrooms. Well, good morning, everyone. Or as Tori would say, well, good morning, guys. Is that what she says? It's decently early right now. I am having the world's little smallest bowl of cereal right now. I, I tried intermittent fasting and I found it hard to keep up with my lifestyle because I can't take my vitamins at a certain time and then I forget to take them and I'm just like, then I get like nauseous if I do take them, but I haven't eaten yet. So I'm trying to find that good balance of like when to eat. So I started having a really fibrous cereal, like what's called Ezekiel cereal. I'm sure you guys have heard of Ezekiel bread. <clears throat> I'm not hating on them, I eat them, but it's like cardboard. Today's is a weird day. Today's an absolutely weird day because my sweet wife has jury duty. What is that? I don't know what it is, but it is her, her civic duty to give people the right to a fair trial. She's gonna be getting ready for that and we're gonna take you through our day. It's gonna be super weird. I'm gonna go wake her up because she's actually overslept by 40 minutes, 40 minutes. And the only way I can get her to, to wake up right now, Celsius. You dressed, babe? You are? Good morning. Good morning. morning. Thank you. Might want to brush your teeth before. My alarm didn't go off. Because you didn't set it. You ready to get the day started? It's time. We just... <clears throat> <coughs> Lord. I think it's time we talked about the elephant in the room, which we're, we're just going to... We're just gonna show them, right, babe? When we travel, I don't have makeup on. I haven't even talked yet today. I feel like I can't speak yet. I'm so tired. Oh, my sweet babies. <laughs> well, okay, we'll get home from a trip and his closet is in the guest room. And so he'll put all of his clothes on this bed and then they will just pile up for like two weeks. And I'm like, if you'll go through and pick out your clean clothes from your dirty clothes, I'll put away all your clean clothes. <laughs> This was all his dirty clothes. Dirty clothes, y'all. Okay, and then we're doing this closet sale. Th these are my clean clothes that... That I'm gonna put away. I'm a good wife. And then all of these clothes are getting sold in the closet sale, along with all of these clothes, along with all of these clothes. Nice, and with all of these clothes and that of these clothes. still gotta be hung up or folded and all that stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna go make you some breakfast. Thank you, breakfast. Breakfast. So today's recycling day. Y'all wanna see something crazy? Recycling day, Lord. On today's menu, sausage and eggs. Berries and cream, berries and cream. Gotta keep my wife happy. And while this is cooking, I'm just gonna be doing the dishes. Yay! Serious question. What does one wear for jury duty? Baby! Looking fancy. I don't know what you're supposed to wear to jury duty. Wow. Let's do the egg test. They, they got a little extra cooked because they were just chilling down here. They look good to me. Good. Cause I had to keep my wife happy. I yes. keep my wife happy. Babe, if you rub my stomach, people are gonna think I'm pregnant. We're not pregnant. We wish we were. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning. Babe, do you think that I'll get it? Like, do you think that they'll send me home or that I'll have to be a jerk? I think they'll send you home. Well, I don't know about that. You have one of those faces. What does that mean? You know what I mean? Just trustworthy, friendly, honest. <laughs> I have a resting smile face. It's kind of awkward. That's pretty good. I honestly, I think if you want to go home, that would be the one. <laughs> Has anyone else had jury duty? Let us know in the comments below. Or just think about your answer and no need to respond. Babe, last night when I was having to do that like questioning thing, uh -huh. it was like, what's your spouse's current job? And I was like, social media. And then it was like, what's your spouse's previous job? And I was like, model. And then I was like, for me, it was like social media. <laughs> And then someone messaged me on Instagram and they were like, we never pick influencers. I don't know how many influencers there are in Lakeland. Not true. So I don't know if they will have had that problem before. So I did the dishes, babe, if you didn't notice that. You did? And guess what? Was this yours from last night? They didn't end up in the- Why are you calling me? 
me out like that. I've literally been doing the dishes every single night and unloading them every single morning. All I'm saying is I did the dishes. If you're incredibly mature like me, you can handle quotes like this and they won't make you say a joke. But Jordan Ciciotti had said, whenever I was asking him for advice on like just family life, he was like, if you see a hole, fill a hole. I'm like, hmm. And so basically what that means to him is, is that if he sees that something needs to get done, he does it. He doesn't waste time like I do. So it's just like, well, dang, my wife's not gonna have time to cook her own breakfast. She's not gonna have time to help with the dishes. She's not gonna have time to do a lot of, <gasps> am I a homemaker today? You are, baby. Did we just find our title for the video? <laughs> House husband for the day. Oh, I guess it's that time, babe. It's a beautiful morning. The gecko. Hello, friend. Let me release him, baby. Shoot. Okay, caught him. Caught, oh, he's biting me. He bit me. I'm trying to help you out, my little bro. Look at his beautiful little tail. I'm gonna release him somewhere. Safe. Maybe on the side of the house, because I think he likes houses. There you go, bud. There he goes. Have a good day at work, sweetie. I love you. <laughs> I love you. Ow. <laughs> Drive safe. Love you. Maybe I'll get to free someone's life today. You never know. Just like Jesus freed us. Hey. <laughs> love you. Love you too. Okay, guys, I just got to the courthouse. I am 12 minutes early, praise the Lord, because there is no parking. I don't know how to feel. I don't know if I'm nervous, if I actually want to get picked and like serve my civic duty and hear out a case and have the experience. I've watched a lot of Law & Order. Part of me feels like that would be exciting. Another part of me knows how much we have to do today and it like stresses me out that I'm here. But you know, what can you do? I mean, I probably need to walk in, but I think I'm gonna do a quick little five minute devotional and then I'm gonna walk in, but I'll keep y'all updated as much as I can. I don't know, I'm sure I won't be able to have my phone in there or anything, but as soon as I get back in the car, I'll give y'all the update. Okay, you guys. Well, that was the most interesting experience. I did not get to be a juror. What had happened was our entire room got released. So walked in, went through security, waited in this really long line to check in. And then they separated us into like two really big courtrooms, probably of 100 to 200 people. Like there was a lot of people in that room. And then we just sat in silence for an hour wondering what was going on. I was like, I really should have brought a book. But I was just messaging in our Discord, which is like our group chat with our patrons. I was like, maybe I'm about to live my best law and order life. I was like kind of getting myself excited to like sit on the jury and hear a court case and you know, do my civic duty. And then everyone's like, okay, what's gonna happen? And then this um, lady who is a cop, she walked in and one of the people in the room was like, hey, like just wondering what we should expect. Like, are we gonna sit here for another hour? Or like, what's gonna happen? And she was like, well, I might have good news for you guys, but I'm not fully sure yet. Just hang tight. And then everyone's like looking around. We're like, what does that even mean? And so then she comes back in like five minutes later and she was like okay i just got off the phone with the judge's office or whatever and you all are released everyone just looked around and we were like sweet got our monday back and then everyone left and that was it i got my little juror tag on but i guess guess it just wasn't my day you guys but if the lord would have called me to sit on that chair but it is a busy week with all the house stuff we have going on. So I'm really actually excited that I have this day back. I haven't called Chad and told him yet because I wanted to update you guys. I low key want to text him and be like, I got called onto a murder case and let him freak out for a second and then call him. I think that's what I'm going to do. I, I still haven't told him, but I'm just laughing because I think I like have him going. I'm like, babe, I, I think I'm, I am a juror 
They're taking me into another room. I think it's a murder trial. I'm so nervous, please pray. And he's like, oh my gosh, babe, this is so wild. You need to text Jess, Jess Conti for those who know because she loves this stuff. I'm about to call them and tell them that. I'm just kidding, but he just texts me again. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. All right, it's been about an hour and I've been on back to back to back calls, but we, I got a call from our tile guy for our home. And since we ordered our backsplash so late, we have to get that tile over to him ASAP. So I'm gonna try to load up this huge heavy thing in the car and take that over to him so he can install the backsplash. Cause like I said, he installed the rest of our tile a long time ago, but then we decided we wanted backsplash, so. And then I may even give you guys a little update on the house so you can see how close we are to closing. We're like this close to closing. We can taste it, it's so wild. I showed you guys this earlier, but this is, this isn't even our furniture. That's just stuff for the house. And I need to take this stuff and good news. I just got to put it in Tori's car because Tori made it back. She didn't have jury duty. I guess she got released from it. She pranked me. She she texts me. She's like, oh my gosh, I think it's a murder mystery thing and all this. And I'm like, oh my word. Yeah, it's the most wholesome thing I could say is oh my word. But uh, yeah, so I have to take this apart and put it in that car and enjoy the view. So the tile is in, uh, by, by the way, excuse that I'm on wide angle right now. They're getting ready to get all that started. And Tori has stuff going in here. Hi. Look at these baskets that, did you want to buy two? No, I have the third one at home, but these are the only two that were in the car. This is the perfect little thing in life. It matches because look, see the, like the cream, the white and the gray. And what's over here? Cream, white and gray. Oh, hello landscaping. <laughs> Hey. We got all of our door hardware here and in there. Yep. And that's gonna be for cabinets and everything. And they're putting the backsplash. Here, now we can go regular. Putting the backsplash, I think, in there. We finally got bulbs for the pendants. Can you reach that? We're about to find out. So many jokes. Well, folks, you heard it here first. It only takes one blonde to screw in a light bulb. Lunchtime. You can't take me anywhere. <laughs> we just got back to the house and Tori ran inside. She's FaceTiming with Amy, our assistant. And I have to carry all this stuff in to set up the camera. I'm like, thanks, babe. Love you. Let's see how this looks. No problem, babe. I got it. What do you think? I think that um, we're definitely gonna have to go in between it with like the white growl. Uh-huh. You know, because I feel like it kind of reads a little dark. Do you guys know our pool's basically done? Look at that bad boy. It's looking so good. Can't wait till it's like fully, fully done. We gotta go measure out the size of our laundry dryer to see how big of a shelving we're gonna make is. Okay, you guys, leaving the house for the second time. Tell them what you decided on. I decided for the washer dryer, we're not gonna do the built-in shelf. I think it's just gonna make the room feel a little crowded. And so we're just gonna go with the, what are they called, pedestals? Pedestals. The pedestals for under the washer dryer because I'm not sure if you were around for the huge debate that was front loader or top loader uh, for washers. And we ended up going front loader because they have this new technology that vents it and so it, it's supposed to prevent like any of those mold, mold issues yeah. and then I got the pedestals because I didn't want to like lean down and it hurt my back when doing um, laundry so anyways we decided on the pedestals they're putting in the tile the tile is like a hand made ceramic and so it has like really pretty live edges and like slight differences. So it's not gonna look perfect, which I like. Yeah. Um, but I think it's gonna look even better once they put the like white yeah. grout in. It was definitely bigger than what we thought it was gonna be. Yeah, we I thought- I think we thought it was like three by three. I, no, I think it was it was supposed to be four by four uh -huh. in like the original design, but I think all they had available was five by five. Uh -huh. And I don't think you 
realize like how big a difference one inch on each side makes yeah. like it, it they're just a lot bigger than we thought they were gonna be but it's okay it'll be a little different so that's fine and once the white grout goes in I think it'll like just mesh together really well like right now it looks very boxy so now but, we have to go order the pedestals and let our trim carpenter know that we're not yeah. going to build like the the deck yeah the box yeah honestly that was a big mistake we made like you ever seen the movie what is it is it called pretty woman where that she's like big mistake oh. huge mistake yeah oh, we, my arm is hurting whenever tori and i were cutting costs we downsized certain portions of the house yeah and we didn't understand. We made them more narrow. Yeah, we made them more narrow. We didn't understand the size of appliances. Yeah. And obviously, these appliances are also big. Yeah. And I think it's because we've never had like actual appliances. Yeah. But I was also telling our project manager, like, I feel like I've only ever had a washer dryer unit in like a mm -hmm. closet. Yeah. And so it's still going to be 10 times bigger of yeah. a like laundry room than I've ever had before so yeah. it's still a huge blessing but if we could go back blessing. I would love to make the room like three feet wider yeah because whenever you see like the cabinets and the sink and everything everything looks so proportioned and so great mm -hmm. but then these all these appliances are huge and then They're they have massive. to be like off the wall and all this and you're like yeah. oh wow now it's like standing in our walkway yeah like oh man darn it big mistake huge mistake I love Anyways. that movie. It's a good movie. It's a great movie. Okay. Let me get the mail. Mail time. Here's the mail that never fails. It makes me want to wag my tail. tail. When it comes, I want to wail. Mail! Did <laughs> you do that? Mail! Oh, that was Ow. super cute. <laughs> mail time. Tori has the cutest little noises. Like, whenever we were up in Michigan, hanging with Jordan and Elena, she sneezed. And they both looked at her and said, that's the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. Sometimes they're small and sometimes they're not. So you never know what you're gonna get. That's that's what happens when you marry Tori. Love you. Bye. Okay, we are back home from the mailbox. Just made myself a little coffee because I was hitting a, a wall. wall. Mm -hmm. And we just are getting our Instacart order. So well, I was influenced by Milena when we were up there in Mystic. I told y'all I hit a wall. I can't even talk. When we were up in Michigan, she was telling me about Instacart and I used it last week and absolutely was blown away. Like it's so much easier to just have our list right in front of me and type it in. And then it gets here in like two hours, which is just crazy. So anyways, I'll kind of show y'all what it looks like. So I have our little grocery list over here and a little bit of our menu over here. And then you can see, I'll just go right in and type whatever we need in that little thing. So let's say I need limes, limes fresh. And then right here, you can just get a little bag of limes. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so the groceries just got here. I just took a shower and Tori's taking a nap before we get ready to film another video. And I'm just gonna put away the groceries before I get ready because I don't want them to go bad. Okay, that's that. Now I gotta wake up Tori. Baby snoozing? You ready to get up? We got stuff we gotta do, my baby. Babe, what's going on? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so I was here, right? And then I gotta just fall back, right? I need you to play the song in your phone. Okay, we're making a reel, guys. Gotta go, bye. It's getting real. So we're back in the house. We just finished my reel and we're gonna show you what you all voted on. And honestly, you no, I'm sorry, you didn't vote on it. You chose it. You yeah. developed the idea. So yeah, we did like a little question box on Instagram, what we should put on our welcome mat. And this was y'all's idea. We were about to just mm -hmm. do something corny and this was so much better. Yeah. And before we do the big unveil, let's show you what these amazing guys were just working on. Look at this backsplash that they did. It looks in incredible. Look at that. And it's gonna have white grout all up in there. Tori's happy. Oh, wow. That's fun. In three, two, one. How adorable that is, is that? So cute. That's it. That's it. 
Welcome back to, to our, our home. home. That's adorable. <laughs> We're falling. Sorry, my bad. Uh, okay, you guys, it's been a crazy day. We still have to go back home and film something else. A little Chef Chad action. A little Chef Chad. And I love filming that because that means I get to eat good food. So. Yeah, amen. We're about to do that. And it's going to be a funny episode, so stay tuned for that. I've already been writing a script for it. I love being able to sit down and come up with creative ideas. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for tagging along with us today. Thank you for liking the video and subscribing. Mm -hmm. If you want to, no pressure. We love you guys. We love y'all. And we'll see you in the next video. We'll take you in the next one. Bye-bye. Do, 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 do. Look at this razor burn. <laughs>